What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uniform review video. Alright, so we have the three new uniforms that we're going to be going over and we're going to be taking a look first at Crystal's new uniform. So here we have Crystal's new Fantastic Four uniform. Looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the uniform, see what it does for Crystal here. So it's going to enhance the effects of her skill Elemental Tempest and manipulate the elements, which are going to be her 4 star and tier 2 passive. Um, and it does list them here, so let's go ahead and see what they're changing. So her uh, tier 2 passive is now going to be increase all elemental damage by 25%, increase all buff effects by 20%, and duration by 20%. Um, so that's not too bad, that's a pretty good increase, because uh, before it was a 15% to all elemental damage, so we're getting a 10% boost there, um, and then the all debuff effects... Uh, by 20% that used to be only 10% if I remember correctly so that went up uh, by 10% and then the duration I believe that's the same 20% uh, or it might have gone up from 15 to 20 but either way I don't think the duration number has changed but the elemental damage and the debuff effects um, has changed which is nice because get a little more damage boost there and then the um, debuff that she's going to be applying with her Four star passive is going to be uh, a little bit more potent and then also the if we look at the skill changes down here we have the 35 percent chance of attacks missing or of the enemy's attacks missing us so that should be enhanced as well because that will be a debuff on the enemy so it's all debuffs not buffs uh, which is pretty nice and then her four star passive right here as you can see is changing uh, to a 25 percent rate when attacking to apply to enemies a decrease of all resistances by 20 percent and this is really nice actually because the change on this one is pretty big so i think it was always a 25 percent chance when attacking uh, but it's going from a 15 percent all resistance to a 20 percent now um, it is still on seven seconds as before but the cooldown is the main thing to look at here so now the skill cooldown is only three seconds whereas previously it was 15 seconds so now you can have this up all the time so if the enemy is able to have a all resistance debuff placed on them uh, you're going to be able to have this pretty much up the entire time because a 25 percent chance and with how many hits crystal can dish out uh, there's no way that you're not going to be procking this all the time as soon as it comes off of cooldown so i really like that so that should also help out our damage output and then for the uh, second skill here we got burn damage which is the same as before I believe but then we have this one second of invincible uh, that's kind of like why is there only that one second there um, but that's one second is nice because it activates right before she goes into the iframe so it actually protects her from getting guard broken and stuff like that because this is invincible not just damage immunity so that's actually pretty nice if you don't have a guard break immunity obelisk on her uh, the third skill here the um, all speed down, I believe, is the only thing that's the same, right? Uh, I can't remember for sure. But then we're getting a 100% chance for all damage immunity, which is nice. Uh, the fourth skill here, that chance to miss, of course, is new. Um, and then the fifth skill, that chance to miss, I believe, is new as well. But we've always had that guard against eight hits for eight seconds. Um, I don't see it listing the entomb on here, but I believe she still has entomb. So it's kind of weird. I don't see it on the text here just says the chance to miss and that unless it was switched to another skill but I don't see it unless I'm missing something here where is it um, well anyway let's go ahead and jump into skill preview there's a lot of skill changes there so it took me a little while to uh, go over that but now we're going to get into the actual skill animations and see what those look like so let's go ahead and hop in. So the only skill that has not changed with this uniform is going to be the first skill. So her tornadoes are pretty much going to stay the same, which is nice because I do like this skill. It keeps the enemies kind of uh, crowd controlled and guard broken if you're doing other attacks on top of it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the second skill. So as you can see here, she gets that one second of an invincible and then boom, she pops into that iframe right there. So that's really nice. The invincible, invincible iframe. So as soon as the invincibility wears off, she is in the iframe. So, I mean, they could have just made it an instant iframe, but I don't know. Maybe they um, maybe they added the invincible because they want her to be targetable so that the enemy can run up close to her and then maybe it does more flame damage if the enemy is in closer proximity. Um, I don't know, but either way, the skill is pretty safe, so I do like that. And it looks like it'll do some pretty decent damage here. So now the third skill... 
So boom, she hops up in the air there and she's just floating around in her freaking crystal ball there or ice ball. Um, and then just throwing icicles all over the place, which is pretty nice. So I do like this skill as well. You can move around while doing it. You do get damage invinci or you get immune to damage while you're doing this. So you have your damage immunity up, which is nice. And yes, you can cancel this skill, but make sure you see like the first um, kind of icicles start to shoot off towards the enemy. So boom, as soon as you see it start hitting the enemy, you can cancel it and you'll still get um a lot of the area of effect damage or the lingering damage i think you get all of it because if you cancel too early like that she doesn't start shooting those um icicles at them as you can see uh but if you wait until she hops up there a little bit then boom you get all of that uh extra damage so just something to keep in mind so you can cancel that and use that damage immunity on one of your other skills so now the fourth skill uh, we have an iframe here. She kind of jumps up, and then we get some more lingering damage, which is really nice. We get a, was that a bind or a snare or something like that? So overall, looking really good. So I like the animation on this skill, though. It looks really cool having those water dragons shoot, or water dragons, those kind of electric uh, dragons shoot down there. So that's pretty cool looking. And now, finally, for the fifth skill. Boom, this fifth skill, get all four kind of uh, elements going on there. And yeah, see, there's still the Entomb. It just didn't say it for some reason on the um, uh, skill text, but she does retain her Entomb, which is really nice because I like that. It keeps the enemies kind of locked down for you. Unless there's only a certain percent chance of it triggering. Yeah, it didn't Entomb that guy, so I don't know. Maybe it's a reduced chance or maybe they have to get hit by the kind of sand um, tornado there for it to actually Entomb them. Uh, but either way, it's now a full iframe, so you don't have to wait for a wind-up, so that does make the skill a lot safer. Um, the fourth skill was not an iframe before, so she has an extra iframe on there. Same with the second skill, she gets another iframe from the second skill. Um, but she lost the iframe on the third skill, but she gets that damage immunity. So overall, um, really nice improvement with the uniform here. She gets a lot more survivability, it looks like a lot more damage, a lot more hits and just really cool looking animation so i'm really liking this fantastic four uniform for crystal um i definitely think it's her best uniform so if you haven't already picked up uniform for crystal i do think it is worth it i think it makes her a lot better and a lot stronger i'm not sure um how well it'll make her perform in things like world boss ultimate but she's going to be a killer for pretty much any shadowland floor and she looks like she's going to be really strong also in pvp for like alliance conquest uh, because you do have the instant iframe here. We have an instant iframe here. Uh, this has invincible on it. Um, this has just lingering damage. So if the opponent comes out of an iframe, it can still hit them. Uh, same here. It got some lingering damage. So when the opponent comes out of an iframe, you can still hit them. So yeah, she's looking really good. So I'm just curious to see how um, high her damage output is going to be in like World Boss Ultimate or something like that. So as soon as I build up Crystal, I'll probably make a video on that because right now my Crystal is still sitting at Tier 1, sadly. Um, I will be getting into Tier 2 really soon, um, but I'm not going to be able to pick up this uniform quite yet because I am saving my Crystals right now to get Susan. So I want to get Invisible Woman unlocked as soon as possible, so I am saving those Crystals. So I might not be getting any of the new uniforms until next uniform sale unless I for some reason decide to buy some crystals but I'm pretty close to getting what I need for Invisible Woman so we'll see but either way I will definitely be picking up this uniform as soon as I have the extra crystals because I do think it is worth it um, but at this second I am going to be holding off so anyway I hope my thoughts here on the uniform has helped you in deciding if you wanted to pick up for yourself but that's going to be it for this video here I hope you guys enjoyed and of course I will catch you in the next one